leader of the UKIP group, Neil Hamilton. Uh, the Welsh Government and indeed the Labour Party generally have been very critical of zero hours contracts and also firms like Uber who they say use their terms and conditions to exploit workers. Well, aren't supply teachers in Wales often in the same situation? There's a case that was quoted on the BBC website this week of Angela Sandals, who's a qualified primary school teacher, but for the last six years has also been a foster parent and so has been a supply teacher. She says that uh, after deductions from the agency that she works for, she could be paid around the minimum wage and some supply teachers are turned to pizza delivery to make ends meet and supply teachers are voting with their feet and leaving and looking for alternative employment. Does the First Minister think that this is an acceptable situation? Oh, but then this isn't devolved yet. Uh, this is something that will come to us uh, next year. We have a supply teaching working group that is looking at ways to uh, boost uh, the employment prospects and indeed income of uh, supply teachers uh, and that is exactly what we plan to take forward. As the First Minister will probably know, supply teachers in England, England <coughs> on average paid about £130 a day but in Cardiff that's on average £90 to £95 pounds a day and in West Wales it's as low as £80 pounds a day. Agencies are charging schools above the rate for teachers on main scale one to four, and teachers with 20 years' experience therefore can be paid less than a newly qualified teacher who's permanently employed. Uh, the Cabinet Secretary for the Economy and Infrastructure said recently in relation to Uber that people should be able to rely on a fair wage regardless of their line of work, and I don't think there'll be any member in this place that would disagree with that. Well, it is a matter for the school, of course, because schools employ these supply teachers. In order to uh, change to a situation where there is complete consistency in that regard, then LMS would have to be removed from schools. In Northern Ireland, where there is no LMS, uh, there is far greater consistency in terms of supply uh, teachers' pay. Now, this is an issue that hasn't yet been devolved to us. Uh, the changing of the system away from LMS would require primary legislation, inevitably, and these are issues which uh, members will have to consider over the next few months. But in the meantime, uh, what we intend to do is using the, uh, the, the, the working group we've put together to improve the conditions of supply teachers, while at the same time considering the best uh, outcome in the longer term. But of course, I mean, schools are, uh, come under the uh, uh, regulation of local authorities and responsibility of local authorities at any rate and, and of course the Welsh Government is responsible for funding those schools and has great persuasive authority even, even if it doesn't have the legal authority amongst uh, other deficiencies of the current situation for lots of agency teachers they've got no access to, to teachers pension scheme and often their holiday pay arrangements mean that part of the wages that they are paid for doing their job are held back to them to be handed out during the holidays as though that were holiday pay on top of their normal pay which is quite wrong the effect has been that for public sector workers in general who've had a pay cut for the last 10 years, supply teachers have done a good deal worse, and many of them have had a pay cut in effect of up to 40% in the last 15 years. Uh, and also, many of these supply contracts also have a clause in them, which you have to accept or else you don't get the job, saying, I accept I will not be paid according to agency worker regulations. Is the Welsh Government going to do something specific about these abuses? These are issues that are being considered in advance of the devolution of uh, pay and conditions. Uh, we know that schools are, he said that the local authorities are responsible, but schools are responsible for employing their supply teachers. Uh, and of course, uh, if schools wished to uh, employ supply teachers in a different way rather than go through agencies, then that would be open uh, to them. But with this being devolved in the very near future, this now gives us the opportunity to deal with the issues which I recognise, because I've had constituents come in to, 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 ex to explain this to me as well, to deal with these issues in a way that wasn't possible before in the absence of, of devolution.